So this photograph is um, from a commission. I, I, I seldomly do commissions, but it's a commission for their New York Times Tea Magazine. Every year they do an issue that is uh, an homage or a, um, an issue done in respect, thinking of a great American work of literature. And they approached me about doing a commission um, for the magazine and thinking about James Baldwin's Giovanni's Room. But when the magazine approached me about doing, um, doing a story, and it's, and it's the cover and it's um, an eight page spread, I could tell that the person who was approaching me really understood my work on a deeper level, but outside of the kind of um, surface values that sometimes people are attracted to. And, um, you know, it was, it was an opportunity for me to make pictures that spoke again to a kind of layered history that I feel very implicated in. It was an opportunity for me to make these pictures and thinking about this, this book that I've read several times and think about how it has had an impact on my own understanding of Baldwin as a figure, um, Paris as a city, um, but also to kind of shake some of those kind of like elements up. But I knew that I wanted the opening picture to feel as if we were looking at a play. I wanted to, there to really be a relationship to the ground that we, in the physical space that we're actually making the pictures in. Um, so, you know, the crucifix, this bottle of whiskey with the cracked glass, the, the, the mirror, um, all of these different kinds of um, minor details in the, in the image, for me, allowed me to think about James Baldwin's Giovanni's Room while also creating a kind of visual interpretation that allowed me to kind of recast um, the, the, the subjects in, in a way in which I um, would if I were to make my own Giovanni's Room. <laughs> so so this, this for me was an opportunity to, um, dare I say it, make the picture that I, that I think um, would be made if Baltimore was alive today um, and there was an actual film adaptation of Giovanni's Room 